Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more Gear City. It's been, it's been a little bit, it's been a minute or so. Uh, we're here in Gear City and now for the guys who don't know what this is, this is a car company tycoon game like automation, except it's not automation. Uh, it's a car company tycoon game but it focuses a bit more on the tycoon aspect and a little less on the car designing aspect like automation. So um, we're here, it's 1929, we've done about 30 years of gameplay so far. Um, we're gonna jump through a lot of years probably today because it's a bit of boring stuff I feel like um, for some of the years. Some of the years are really exciting, some aren't, it's gonna be different. Um, we'll just jump through more and get more done I think as well. Um, so right off the bat here we're gonna hop into our showroom so we can see our previous models of all of our cars. We are focusing on our Maven Motors brand. I think today we're going to do a bit of rebranding. Um, we're based in Canada, but we, we don't have any pickup trucks for sale, and I think we need to remedy that uh, as soon as possible. We've got $330 million cash in the bank that you can see in the bottom right there, which is an absolute ton of money for 1929. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, you can see all of our models. We, our very first one was called the S1. Then we have the Maven 1, or the MK1. Um, this is our very first car we designed. I mean, I didn't really design this one, but we used it. It's got a, a two-speed non-synchronized manual gearbox, 2.3 liter four-cylinder, 10 horsepower. Very sporty, I know. And now today we've got a few models, the uh, MKA, the MKE, the MKS. And we have an MKL, I think, which we can't see because that one is a rebadged car. But yeah, so a, a good bit of vehicles here. We're, we're selling quite well, 10,000, 20,000 units per model, per trim, per year or so. So what we're going to do today is rebrand all the cars, I think, because these names are boring, and I want something that's a little better. Now, I've, I've made a lot of cars in automation since. I've made a few Maven vehicles in automation since, uh, and I've got a few names. I also want to build a pickup truck, uh, so we're, we're, we're building engines. Okay, let's go take a look here at what we're actually building. It's been a little bit. So we're building engines. We got a 2.2 liter four-cylinder, a 3.3 liter straight six, 3.8 liter straight six, a 4.4 liter straight six and a supercharged 4.4 liter straight six. I think it's pretty good. I think what we, what we want though, I think we're gonna want a V8 engine. Maybe a V8? Mm. Like I think the theme of this company is inline engines for now, but like we could go for a V8. Um, we could do that. So we'll just go and modify a so we'll go modify engine. We'll, we'll modify like, you know, the 2.2 the liter engine we have right now. And we'll just go, so you guys might not know what exactly what I'm doing this game is, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so what we're going to do is we're modifying our R engine, our inline 4, and we're going to change it to a B layout, 8 cylinder, and we're going to just increase the stroke, because stroke is pretty important in this game. Well, honestly, the car's more, I think torque is more important than horsepower for a long time in this game. Uh, and I think like 5 liters or so is probably fine, and we're using right now a 4.1 liter. Okay, 4.1 liter supercharged, or a 4.4 liter... Oh no, the last one was a 4.4. Okay, 4 .4. this is a 4.4. .4. Okay. I think we'll do like a 4.8 liter. I mean, 5 liters is 305 cubic inches exactly, I think. Um, that seems like a pretty reasonable amount. I think, yeah, we'll do like 4.8 maybe, so that's like, what, 60, 67 bore? 67.1? Nope. 67.0? 0.4? Come on, there we go, 4.8 liter, exactly. That's a, that's a fair size V8, that's not too big. We'll do an overhead valve system, naturally aspirated. Uh, no, we're not gonna increase the the quality sliders here, basically, we're just gonna do a little more torque focused. And we're gonna compare it to our current engines that we're making, the 4.4s. So 280 torque, we're making a, about the same torque as a straight six, 4.4 liter. Uh, cause 4. straight sixes are just super OP engines. But we're gonna make a bit more horsepower, I think, or around the same. The cost for that is 440. Ours is gonna be a lot cheaper. So similar power, but just a lot cheaper cost. A little more, little, ah, same horsepower is probably fine. 120 horsepower is more than enough. And 240 pound feet of torque, that's not bad at all, I think. So a little more horsepower and a little more torque than the 4.4 liter straight six we have. And it actually costs less. This thing costs 440 versus ours 272. So that's, that's cheaper. I'll take it. Red line is very low. We make peak power at 2100 RPM. We're going to call this the... Uh, this is the G2 series. We'll call this, I guess, the, the, the G2 series as well, I guess. The G2 4800. The naming scheme, it's fine for now. And here is what I was waiting for, guys. We have the Great Depression. I think this is the Great Depression. If I'm wrong, then no, I'm 99% sure this is the Great Depression. Um, it, it does happen. We're going to fast forward a few more months. Because we were preparing for disaster last time, if I recall correctly. 
We'll finish off in 1930. Um, and the Great Depression lasts just just a little bit, just a little while. Um, we're going to start manufacturing, I think, some vans and some trucks and some fleet vehicles because, yeah, from like 7 million in sales to 150,000. Oh, no, never mind. It'll be a little more than that. We have issues with our parts supply. That's okay. We'll do one more month. We'll see an accurate representation on the amount of money we're making. So half a million dollars from seven from seven and a half to half a million. That's not very good. Now our stock is in a crash, and what we want to do when it does crash is we're gonna sell Diasco. We're gonna sell that. Because it's in a crash too. And what we're gonna do when it does crash is we're gonna buy up more shares of our company. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Um let's save it again real quick here. We are how big of a car company are we right now? So Cron is the biggest, Burley's the second biggest, and Maven Motors is is yeah, we're not even up there at all, actually, are we? We are playing the long game. Uh, so we've sold thirty thousand cars. That's not bad, actually. That's not awful. Can we exit that? Thirty thirty thousand cars. So yeah, it's actually pretty bad right now. Um things could be better. We have a ton of revenue. That's because we sold shares and stuff, so we're gonna go ahead. Design some cars, so let's modify. So we, we got our, our our main core cars. We got the MKA, which is a Phaeton, which we're not gonna do another generation. We're not gonna. We're not. Gonna, yeah, that's it's. We're gonna. We're, we'll kill it. Like it sold pretty well, but sales in Phaetons do start hemorrhaging. Like the peak sales was 1925 for that, and same with that. And the MKA previous generation was doing fine as well. We might not make another generation. Now, if we go to contracts, vehicle, it's going to take a while to load. A lot of them. Let's go to military, that's the important one. And so right now the UK is looking for a truck that costs under two grand, or that's how much we're going to sell it for, for two grand a unit, which is a ton of money. Uh, it needs 97 pound-feet of torque, that's really the only requirement. And we have to submit our request in nine months. So if we can do a pickup truck in nine months that has at least 97 pounds of torque, or pound-feet of torque, we're good to go. That's 1930. That's three months, nine months. So we can do this one. That's another pickup truck with 110 pounds and a van. So we need two pickup trucks, one with 110 pound feet for the uh, Czechoslovakian army. Yes, and we need one with 97. So let's go and design a pickup truck. And we'll see. We'll see if we can get it done. Military contracts are, they're a bit more lucrative, I would say, than civilian ones. CT-42. And we're going to give it a few engines. We only need 97, we only need 100 and something pound feet of torque. Let's do a 3.3 liter straight six, a 3.8, and a 4.8, I think, is reasonable for the truck. We'll give it three trims. We'll use the TM1 transmission for the base engine, because it'll be totally fine, probably. Uh, and we're going to use, I think, like, this was this is what I've designed. So I've designed a couple vehicles here. I thought I had another one. I've designed this one before, so we'll use this one. Basically a big old pickup truck, even though it's more of a... It's it's massive, it's an actual tank. We'll lower down the quality. And we'll do lower middle class. And we'll, we'll lower the this and the interior. Luxury, comfort, safety. Actually, that can stay there. Luxury and safety down, that'll save weight. So the weight's not really realistic. It weighs 3,300 pounds. Um, it does 72 miles an hour, which is way more than enough. The cargo space, that was an important one. Okay, we have way more than enough liters. So, this is the Maven Motors. The cost is 588. How much is that good, actually? It's actually pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap, actually, for, like, decent spec. Um, now, I've, I, I have a truck in automation, and this is called the All Runner. Which is, like, a small, compact SUV truck. Um, we could use my actual truck name. Uh, and let, me, let me double check what that is actually. The I think it's called the Phaeton, the Phaeton. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. The T8, yeah, the Phaeton. I think that's how it's spelled. I don't know how to spell Phaeton that much. L let's let's double check. Phaeton. It is E H A E T O N or E A T O N. I don't know how I spelled it. Fay Fia. Theaton. I gotta double check this now because I am super unsure and we'll just do a new generation of that and sort of base it off the same thing and change the body to whatever's available. I want curvy. I like that. A little smooth. 
A little less on the quality, though. Just a little less. Maybe it's going to be a little more mainstream of a, of a brand, I think, now. So five, under 500 bucks is totally reasonable. And we'll do this in... 1932 sounds fine. Now, we're no longer calling this the MKE. The Crusada is the Maven. It's, it's like it's it's like Cressida, but it's the Crusada. Uh, I have a car named this. Don't judge me. I like the name Chris Crusada. It's fine. It's very slow, though. We're going to do another. We'll do two trims, maybe for maybe three. Why not? That's a name. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. We'll do some more sports cars. The MKS is the base model. We'll do on the CTS2 platform. We'll do with a 3.3 liter. No, 3.8, 4.4, and 4.4 sounds fine. A three speed, a four speed, and a five speed. It's got too much torque. That's okay. It's a little little bit unreliable. I'll deal with it. I'm gonna use the same platform again. Because this is like my dedicated race car basically for the road. The MKS. Now we're gonna call this the Like what's a good sporty name? What's a good sporty name? Like we can call it like like the sport. This just the this, this Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have a good name for this car. Uh because I don't. We're gonna call it the sport for now, just the Maven Motor Sport. That sounds fine. We'll call it a Sport S. Sport S. The Maven Motors Sport S sounds totally reasonable. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, that was for the middle class. Well, wow, that's a middle class sports car. All right, we'll take that. We'll do this. Your 16 mode, 10.1 seconds. And we'll do the biggest trim, which is the big old supercharged engine, the S6. Here's 16, a very fast 7.7 .7 seconds. This is for the upper class. We'll do a little more on cargo because that's kind of important. Sure, why not? And then market demographic testing is important as well. Now, I'm not sure what that really means, but you know what? These are just testing. Yeah, just make sure the car is fine. Very expensive, about two grand, which is that's the, that's a that's an expensive car. And we will go ahead and look at more contracts. That's important still. Let's do. Let's do civilian contracts. So, right now they're looking for, what's a big one? That's 17, that's 19, 67 cars is a big one. They want to finish in six months, a van. We're all going to get that done, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but we are going to make a van. And they're also looking for sedans, and probably full-size sedans. Okay, so let's go ahead and design a full-size sedan, and just like two trims probably. Uh, full-size sedan is right... There, and we'll just do the CTA, CTS platform, sure. And we'll do a 3.3 and a 3. Point, no, no, we'll do a 3.8 and a 4.8. It's going to be a big old haunching sedan. I need a sleek body. Ooh, that's sleek. I'll take it. No questions asked. I'll design some more cars once we get into like the cooler car bodies and stuff in the 70s and 60s and 50s even. Uh, we'll finish this in two years as well. It's going to be for the middle class. And we'll lower down the testing because you want the quality. It doesn't have to be over it, but you don't want it under. So if it's a little bit over or a little or if it's a little over, that's okay. But we'll save some money and have it not over. The Gallarda. The Gallarda. Oh, I mean, honestly, I don't mind that. The Gallarda. So we got the Cressida or the Cressada. We can do that. We can do this. This is called the... I think I had a name for another full size sedan. And again, I'm not too sure what to name this. Um, there's no particular naming scheme, it's just names I thought of. Alright, so th there's a few names that have come to mind. We've got the Maven RMX, which I think is a fine name. That's the name I've used for my pretty much uh, race motorsport experimental. That's for the full size, that's for the uh, sports car. I've got Plasma for another sports car. Um, I don't have anything for a full size sedan. So if you guys have, again, ideas for a full size sedan, I know I, I named the sports car just the. Uh, the sport for now, but we'll rename it later. I think, I think as time goes on, uh, we're gonna call this the like the Ma the Maximus, the Maximus, the Maven Motors Maximus, not Maxima, Maximus. And we'll do a 4.8 liter V8 and the same four speed. We'll just call this the S. Nothing too fancy about this one for the upper middle class, and a little more reliability. Now Maven's gonna be a bit more of a mainstream brand, so they've got some nicer offerings, but that's okay. And then I think we have got a pretty good baseline. We'll just do a van. Because that might sell the markets. We'll base it on the CTA platform though. 
and we'll give it a small four cylinder and a three speed. It's gonna be a little little cheaper, a little more, you know, a little less expensive. I like this body to be honest. Um, I like this one short. This is a large vehicle though. My gosh, the 1945. Okay, we'll use this. This is gonna be a fleet vehicle. It's gonna be very cheap. We'll do two trims probably of it. I'm guessing. Under four is, is it gonna be under four hundred dollars? This is the cheapest vehicle by far. Oh my gosh. A very very cheap vehicle. Oh my gosh, this is very cheap. Uh, let's do a little less on the interior. Can we get under four hundred? Three hundred. We'll do four hundred even. That's cheap. This now I don't. I, the vans don't really matter as much for the names. We can just call us like the, like the 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 utility. I think is is the name I had for something else. The utility. We can call us the cargo. Um, we can call this the. I, I think mover. The Maven mover is the name. You just move. You know, it moves things. The Maven mover. That's fine. I'll take it. We'll give it a 3.3 liter and a 3 speed, and we'll call it the Mover XT. And it's going to be finished in a year, which is okay. I'm fine with that, to be honest. It's not going to be for anything immediately, but it's going to be in the future. There we go. So we've got... So I'll go through the cars we have now. Okay. So, I'll, yeah, I'll go through the cars we have now. We've got a few cars to go through. Uh, we can't see them in the showroom. We, we can't see them right now, but I've got a few things. We've got the Crusada which is our four-door sedan now. We've got the Maximus, which is a bigger four-door sedan, I guess. Um, the Mover, which is a van. It's like a utility vehicle. The Sport, which is our sports car. It's going to be renamed at some point, but Sport is what it's called for now. And we got the Thaden. we got two models of Thaden, actually. Just the regular Thaden and several trims for everything. And the Thaden FT, which means fleet trim. I know, very imaginative. I know. Uh, it's going to be our fleet vehicle. We're going to hop in, save it again. Just because we always save it. Uh, and do, uh, like, what, eight months or so. Now, we are in the Great Depression. And what that means is we're not going to sell a lot of cars. We might have to cut back on our factory. We could. We're losing about two million a month-ish. Uh, I think we'll be losing about one million, about one million a month average. We're going to submit a truck that we made for a government contract. We're going to go to contracts vehicle. And we'll see. We'll go by military. Ah. Uh, well, there goes that. It's not there. Really, it was due by the 9th. There's, there's the French army. Really weird. So let's go civilian. Well, that is just disappointing. We lost the contract. Well, we have a van or we have an extra pickup truck for no reason. I am disappointed. Well, $1,200 is what it's going to sell for. Ugh. Wow. This is just not my day. I swear we actually made it properly, but... That's our best-selling vehicle now by a good bit, which is... I'm gonna buy it by two units, which is fine. That's very sad. Very sad. We can use mid-engine front-wheel drive. We're selling some cars still. Look at that. Our market cap has crashed about 50%, which is a really good thing. Oh, we can buy some shares of that. Uh, we'll, we'll let it crash a little bit more. I think it'll still go down. We'll wait three months. And I think... Because what you want to do is wait till your cars, your company's market cap is down a lot, and then buy more shares, because it's going to go back up. And then if you ever need to raise capital, raise money, you just sell shares of your company. Um, and as long as you have over 50% of the company controlled by the company, then you're not going to get, like, you're not going to lose the game, pretty much. Because you can get kicked out of, as the CEO of the company, if they hate you, and you're doing bad, apparently. Uh, I've had it happen before, it's not fun. So let's see here, it's, okay, it's gone down to 270, we're going to buy... 40, yeah, $43 million of shares. We'll save it again. Now, everything about our sports car, sedan, a full-size sedan is done. I don't know what... The, so, we've got the van and the pickup truck. So, we, we get it. We've got none before. So, we're going to sell this for $800. $1,200 sounds fine. $1,250. This is $1,200. So, we'll sell this for like $1,350. Uh, and that's 400 so we'll do seven, uh, 1750 We'll do what 400 increment there. And 2250 So $500 more. We'll do one month quickly. We'll see how much we're selling. We've got a lot of empty factories right now, which is, like, not ideal. We're getting up there in sales. We're getting up there. It's making some money. Nah, we're not selling much anymore. Who's... How big of a car company are we now? Clyde sold 43 k And we have sold... I think like what? What? 3k. Oof. That's not great. 
not an ideal situation at all. We're going to do contracts again. Oh, we can do the French army. Let's go to military. We'll do this. So they will buy. We can we can submit a bid for a government contract getting 153 vans a month, which is a lot of vans compared to what we're selling right now. So we'll do that. So it costs us 500 and we'd sell for 2000 which is a lot of money. Canada's looking for a pickup truck that's diesel. That's not going to happen. Uh, Poland is looking for engines. We want to do cars, though. So Spain. Spain's looking for vans. Oh, a little more torque. And, oh, and it needs to be diesel. Yeah, they want a compact SUV as well. We could make a diesel. We could. I'm not going to right now. Uh, when's the bidding up for that? When can we... Let's take a look here. We'll go to this. So on the 9th of 1931, we'll know. So we'll, we'll see then. If we got the contract or not. Which, if we did... That's awesome. If we didn't, we'll, we'll be fine still. I like the company's in good shape. We've got like uh, almost 200 months. We've got like, what, 10 years of, of, of money? Okay, this is interesting. So a company called Bullock Nutters has, is going bankrupt, and they're asking us if we want to buy the company. So they've got four factories. Let's take a look, actually. Wait a second. Are they are they publicly traded right now? They're called Bull something Nutters? Something Nutters? No one knows at this point. I don't think, no, they're not, they're not traded on the market right now that I can see. This is going to cost us $14,713,000, and they also have another $10 million or so in debt. Not an ideal situation. Now, they've got four factories, which could be very, very cheap for $14 million, depending on the size. We can't see what they are, though. They've got 27 cars. They've got 26 you know, uh, sales branches. We're going to go no. I don't want to use that be uh, I I don't want to do that because it's just it's just a lot of money to spend on something that's probably not profitable right now. If if we were making profit, this is a scary time. Our cash flow is negative. We're losing about a million a month, which is this is great right now. This is great news. You know, losing money has never been so fine. Like we're only losing one million dollars a month, and we've got like two hundred and eighty million in cash. It's a lot of cash if you didn't know. Oh, it's a, a lot of cash, like my gosh. For 1931, we are absolutely loaded right now, playing it very safe. We gotta do one more month, we got a sim, and we can take a look and see if we got the contract for the vans. Come on. It, it loads pretty quickly though, on this decent PC. Did we get it? I don't think we didn't get it. Yep, yeah, gosh darn it. But we're still doing fine. Let's go to vehicle again. Vehicles are better to sell, I would say. We, oh, we can sell the Phaeton. Okay, we can do this. So, this is the Phaeton FT. Now, what they do is they look at a few... They look at cargo space. And they look at all these stats, the, the, the game itself, to see what's better. So, we'll do the Phaeton FT. We can, if we can sell the FT, great. If not, you know, whatever, I guess. Let's go for engine. They will buy engines. They will buy... Oh, that's too expensive. These are all too expensive. If we can make a cheaper engine with a little less torque, that'd be nice, but no, it's not going to happen. Nope. And we can buy a ship engine, they'll buy ship engines. This is more our speed. So we can make about $700 per engine, and it's a, this is a good engine. We'll do that. We'll submit our car bid for that. They don't want to buy chassis or gearbox. Oh, they want to buy gearboxes, though. They will buy 185 units. Ooh, we'll do that. Yeah. We're doing contracts now, guys. So now we're going to start, we're going to get rid of the old cars, we're going to get rid of the MKA, the E, top sales of all these things, and the S. And start selling the Crusada, $1,000 sounds fine. And we'll do, like, what, uh, 1400 and we'll do 1900 This will do 2000 probably, that sounds reasonable, and we'll do 2500 this will do twenty-one fifty. Now we'll do two thousand as well. It's the same price. Twenty-five and thirty-two five hundred. Not thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two hundred. Not a ton of profit in the high-end sports car right now because I want to make it still quite cheap. It's still an expensive car. It's very expensive for this time period. So we've got some civilian contracts now, uh, and we're making some okay money. We're losing about a million a month, which is honestly not that much. It's not bad at all. Let's go to contracts again and see what's happening. We can do another contract. Or no, we can't do these ones. 
No, we can't. Okay. And our market cap is absolutely plummeting. So is... Ooh, all sex is actually doing quite good. Is any, is any American company doing bad? Uh, lots of European ones. Silo's doing very bad. Cureworth is actually doing okay. We're actually going to buy shares of Cureworth because they're on the they're on the rise. So you will buy 30 million shares. And just pretty much just jump a few years and uh, see where the chips lay uh, after the, the the dust settles from the Great Depression. Okay, so pretty much uh, every country is now getting started for World War II. They're ramping up production for the Great War. The Second Great War, I guess. Uh, it's 1934. I've done a few things. We're going to go into our showroom. I made a new vehicle. It's just called the Runner. It's a little off-road Jeep kind of thing. It's got the base engine. It's very cheap, etc. We just came out with it. Uh, and I have submitted some bids for some new vehicles, new contracts. Um, we have been denied every contract so far, pretty much. But that's okay. The Crisada is doing great sales-wise. I think, right? Is there any other... Is there any other, Is there any cars that aren't supposed to be selling? selling? Okay, we're fine. We're going to do... We're going to hop forward and just see if we get some of these big contracts. I did some government contracts with the U.S. government. We'll see if they uh, they make us any money or if they, if they sell it all. So, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but we haven't done any racing uh, really at all. Like, we used to be, I think, have a car on a race team. I think we've actually tried some racing before. Um, now, we could do the 24-hour of Le Mans, which is basically Le Mans, just without the branding. Uh, there's only five companies with cars in there. They all have a 205 horsepower, 5.4 liter V8. I've got a feeling it's just a rebranded car because they've got the exact same specs. And yeah, they are the exact same. They're using the exact same car. It's, it's a very boring Le Mans, to be honest. But they're all pretty fast. 120 miles an hour. Uh, if we actually sent in our car, it can do 150 miles an hour and it's way faster. Uh, with less horsepower, but incredibly low weight, of course. 1,800 pounds. It's very, very light. We can actually probably do... We can do this probably, actually. Let's do the Sport S6. Let's do a cheap $1 million... Actually, let's, let's just do the Max. That's fine, actually. We can afford that. Let's just call it Maven Motorsports. I totally didn't notice that it was so cheap, actually, to do this. Let's just do focus on winning only. And start. I think we've got a good shot at winning Le Mans. Now, you don't actually get to see the races. But... Yeah, you get the trophy, basically, if you win it, and you get some prestige, and you get some things, some sales boosts and stuff, etc. Ooh, Cotton Despot wants to be bought out. That's actually pretty cheap, and I think they are publicly traded. Dogwood is cheap. No, that's Colonial Cotton Despot. Cotton Despot is actually not for sale. Interesting, they're not public right now. I think they're French, if I'm not mistaken. Four million is not bad, though. We're gonna skip... Just on that because it, I don't I, I want to save our money. I have bought more shares of our company. I bought more shares of Cureworth, which is basically Chrysler. We know we owe sixty. We own sixty nine percent. Funny number of our company, um, and thirty percent for Cureworth. So we want a bit, but we're gonna keep going anyways. Look at that. And there we got, uh, I mean, we got some contracts denied, which kind of sucks, actually. And they were very cheap. They were very competitive offers. Well, whatever. Uh, we won the 24-hour of Le Mans, our first year entering, <laughs> which is absolutely hilarious. We can't actually see, like, anything, but, like, we can see Maven Motorsports got first place uh, in the only race that it entered. Uh, there's actually a lot of racers in the 1927-28 uh, years, basically. There's not too many right now. There's only, like, seven, six competitors. Not, not a lot. Uh, we won. And that, that's all that matters, really. I think our car... Is is our car the fastest car in the world? Yeah, our car is the fastest car in the world. 154 mile an hour top speed. And has the fastest 0 to 60. It's basically a supercar um, for just a decent expensive price. Not the most expensive, but it's pretty expensive. Now, we're going to finish off here. I didn't do as much years as I wanted, but that's okay. This is a series. It's an ongoing series. It's taken a long time, but it's a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more Gear City, let me know. The next episode is going to be World War II. Uh, I want to get some more. I want to get a like, new generations of, of everything, I guess. Uh, I want to get an off-roader as well. This year, we, did, we just did pretty much one generation and just sort of chillaxed uh, with a few cars sprinkled in here and there. But I want to get another one, another generation of platforms going up uh, and things as well. Uh, join the Discord, linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.